So, good evening, good evening, everybody. Episode four of Arsenal Muppet Twitter. This content is evergreen. If you don't know what evergreen means, it means it's just never going to stop growing. <laughs> it's going to constantly produce. And uh, we've got a good show tonight. Um, I just want to divert your attention to a show I'm going on in 35 minutes. So this is going to have to be kind of short, if I'm honest. Um, it's a shame because I could probably go on for about three hours on this one. But unfortunately, um, well, not unfortunately, because I said I'd do it. But <laughs> um, I am on a channel. I'm going to get the link in a second. And uh, I'm on Never a Foul. I'm talking with Holly at 7 o'clock. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the link for that. Whilst you're all um, sat here, make sure you uh, smash the likes up. The link is going into the chat. I'll do it on StreamYard, actually, so Facebook can get it as well. Um, we're going to go on there. We're going to talk about social media. Um, obviously, I have a child. She has a child. And the differences between growing up without social media and with it. So make sure you um, that link I've just whacked in the chat. I'm going to pin it to the top of the comments. Whilst this is live and you're watching this, uh, the pinned comment, you can still go and whack a like on it whilst it's live. It won't divert you away from it. Um, smack the likes up on this one as well. Uh, but uh, where should we start? Um, where shall we start? Let's, um, and, and one thing I want to do every week from now on, because it's just so much easier rather than me sitting there scrolling through people's tweets, is um, maybe just send me. <laughs> when I put the tweet out saying that I'm going to do the show, maybe just send me the screenshots of the... Uh, of the people, but we've got quite a lot to go through. Let's start off with this guy here. Uh, <laughs> this guy, uh, this guy is that mad that somebody's actually started a um, <laughs> a parody account at the Giza. <laughs> this account, by the way, is goated. It is the best parody account I have ever seen. So big up to this guy, yeah, because literally the dedication. Maybe it's the same person. I don't know. Uh, whoever it is, is an absolute genius. Um, he literally just rips it out of this guy. who's actually changed his profile picture to this version of Pep now uh, from this one. Um, but this guy, seriously, the stuff this bloke comes out with, look, he's banging on about Charlie Patino at the moment. Um, what is the fetish and fascination with uh, with teenagers? Like, I don't understand. Like, I genuinely don't get it. I'm going to be doing my most thorough, best researched profile of him you have ever seen. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, mate, we're tuning in for that one tomorrow then, son. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, seriously, mate, like, they're tweeting out pictures of, like, when he was, like, six. Like, what is this account? Like, genuinely, like, this account, some of the stuff it comes out with is actually hilarious. Um... Like, I want to find some of the threads he puts out there because they're just absolutely hilarious. It's like, do you actually believe this stuff as you're writing it, mate? Or is this actually the parody account? I don't know. Maybe this is a parody account. <laughs> I don't know. Um, here we go. Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this. People who use results without context to judge teams have the worst ball knowledge around. Yes, we'll eat a grape to that one. Come on. Was Pirlo bad or was it just Juventus were bad? <laughs> Yeah, not like they'd won nine straight league titles before Pirlo got the job, mate. Juventus are a little bit like Arsenal before this transfer window. <laughs> I swear. Lacking in necessary elite technical quality to meet their ambition. Let's zoom in. Here we go. Let's have a look. Juventus at 16th. Um, let's continue. <laughs> the way out for Juventus is to admit the state of their squad. <laughs> Why don't you do that for our squad all the time then, mate? Why don't, why don't everyone do that for us then? I don't know. This means, excuse me, that the manager get all the excuses in the world until the team is infused with sufficient quality, just like Oli, Klopp and Arteta. The best way is to uh, complete is, um, is to play with a sustained pressure. For, oh, actually, maybe he's changed his tune. Maybe this is not the right thread. Maybe the other account's the right one. <laughs> this guy's actually changed his tune. Some of the stuff this guy used to put out. Maybe I should have done my homework on this guy. Let's have a look at this. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. Arsenal will add a marquee winger and striker and a new goalkeeper and central midfielder and integrate more of their promising youth like Saliba. He's on loan. Uh, Aziz, he's on loan. 
Yeah, come on. Since the team is extremely young, there will be space for more marquee signings. Have we actually made any marquee signings? By then, Arsenal will be... Oh, it is the right account. By then, Arsenal will be one of the most competitive teams in the world, full of quality players top to bottom. This is how you do rebuilds. For Juventus, for Juventus theirs can be much faster than this. They can turn things around with one significant window of good business. Like, what is this guy talking about? So basically what you're saying, my friend, is, yeah, we've got to wait another three or four years to get one good window. Well done, mate. Anyway, let's go. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one I want to bring up. Where is he? Where is he? I think I've got it in my explore section. I've, I've listed a few of the people. Ah, uh, here he is, half spaces. <laughs> does anyone follow this, lad? Like, genuinely, does anyone follow this geezer? Like... I don't know what um, I don't know what planet this kid lives on, but it definitely ain't the real world. Um, but let's go. Let's carry on. Big up to everybody watching live, by the way. Um, big up to uh, <laughs> oh shit! I'll just see the name of that. I should have proofread it. Uh, but thank you. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is sick. Big up to Paul Bryden as well. Thank you, mate. Big up yourself. Most nonsense um, than last week. Pepe needs to be up front. End of, bruv. Thank you very much for your super chat. I'm going to come back to this in a minute about Pepe, yeah? Because there was an account that I want to um, I want to highlight. <laughs> Some of the crap I've seen is hilarious. Uh, a lot of the accounts I'm blocked, um, like the one that was comparing Bergkamp and uh, Emil Smith-Rowe in the picture, now.arsenal. You'll remember him from a previous Muppet Twitter stream, maybe a couple of Muppet Twitter streams. That's the guy um, that's got probably about 100,000 on Instagram now, I'd imagine. And uh, he's posting that out to 100,000 people. That's also the same guy that sells fake Arsenal shirts. Remember him? The one who deactivated his Shopify account real quick when we outed him. There we go. Let's go. Anyway. <laughs> let's... Um... <laughs> Look. Come on, you don't like it. Let's uh, let's read some of the crap. I've got to scroll down a little bit because he didn't half he didn't half tweet a lot. But let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think it was this tweet. This Fred is it? This one? What is my Twitter doing? No, it's not that. There was a Fred that he was in, and it was just absolutely yeah. There it is. I think this is it. I was proud of the performance. I saw some positive signs. <laughs> Man was bowling around proud, yo. We just beat Norwich 1-0, you know. Yeah, beating his chest up and all sorts. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew that that would happen when the spine came back. <laughs> do people believe this? Like, genuinely, do they actually believe what they're writing? <laughs> Let me, uh, here we go. Fifth is where I believe Arsenal, and I would be happy with that. Oh. So there you go. So you're basically saying, my friend, as I sip my Fanta Limon, you are a fourth loser. Oh, yeah. I can taste the salty tears. Fourth loser, you know. Fourth would be an overachievement and would be awesome. Third loser. The strategy in the transfer market has been great signing young players who are 20 to 25, who would all peak at the same time. Also building a young core of centre-backs. Right, let me just come back to this little bit here where it says uh, the strategy has been signing um, young players between 20 and 25 who would all peak at the same time. How do you know they're all going to peak at the same time? Players develop different stages of their careers. For example, Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy didn't develop as a top striker until his late 20s. So how do you know that he's going to... Um, they're all going to peak at the same time if we signed a 20-year-old? How do you know he's going to peak in three years? How do you know he's still going to be playing football in three years? How do you know they're all going to grow together? How do you know that? You don't, because there's no evidence to suggest it'll happen. It's just all waffle. Anyway, let's go. Let's go back to the, some more of his tweets. Um, he was proud of the performance, obviously. We know that. <laughs> was this the Fred? There was a Fred he was in. Yes, we found it. Right, here we go. Uh... Let's have a look. I think it was this one. Obviously, I'm blocked by the geezer with the underscore and the blue link. 
So you're saying Liverpool shouldn't have cared when their whole defence got injured last season. You can't just ignore factual content. We had multiple injuries and players out, and the Norwich game proves we looked a whole different team with the spine fit. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. These people, man. There's millions of people like this to support Arsenal, by the way. Mad. Actually mad. Hmm. Let's have a look at some of the replies. It was Norwich, and you scraped by them. Has an Arteta picture, just shows the delusion. This is very true. He does. There you go. He's even got him. Oh, my days. He's got him in the bio as well, in the uh, in the banner. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. Arsenal and Real Madrid fan. Bye, Matthew. You are a Muppet. Jesus Christ. How can... Oh, I'm a Real Madrid fan. Well done, mate. No wonder you uh, you can take losing then, mate, because you see Madrid winning quite a lot, don't you? Muppet. Anyway, next one. Ah, yes, this fella here. Uh, this is another one along the same kind of lines as um, Tiki Taka Twat. Um, they tweet quite a lot. They get lots of traction. Um tweeting absolute nonsense. They jump on um, anything fashionable. Not as bad as some of the other accounts. Um, oh, here we go. Better late than never. Here's my very early excuse. Uh, excuse the morning voice. Um, analysis of Arsenal Norwich game yesterday. Any feedback is welcome and appreciate. He's, he's doing video. Is he on YouTube? Let's see what James has got to say. Oh, hold up. Hold up. It's on Mo Hader's channel. Big up Mo, by the way. I like Mo. A very nice um, young man. Big up to Mo. Big up to Mo for letting him on your channel as well. Obviously, excuse me, uh, we do try and get as many fans on our channels as we possibly can. But anyway, let's see what James has got to say. I've not watched this, by the way. Hi, guys. This is my post-match review of the Arsenal 1 Norwich 0 game yesterday. Um, I wasn't able to watch the game live, so I managed to watch it. Oh. Hold up. You wasn't able to watch the game. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Let's continue, people. Let's continue. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Seriously, you just got to laugh. You just got to laugh. Actually, I need to share the other screen, don't I? I am actually a plonker. I'm having a mare today. Do you know that? I'm genuinely having a bit of a mare. Seriously, this is what, I'm, this is what happens when I'm rushing around. But anyway, let me share the screen again. Where is it? Yes, there it is. Right. There it is. Right. Let's go. Very late last night. Oh, I big goal. 90. Finished about, about half two, two in the morning, so I decided I'd go, go to bed, bed wake up, up and give my review. review. Um, oh, a bit of buffering. I made, I made some, some notes, notes as well, so usually I'm very emotional, emotional in, in my analysis, analysis but today, today I'll give it more of a... More of a technical point of view. Oh, so yes, the technical insights. It's more ins and outs than just a general overview. And Thanks for that, James. Cheers, mate. Um, Another big goal. What's what is this guy oh, all right? Like, it's, take, it's like he keeps swallowing golf balls. Is he all right, the fella? Like, genuinely, like, real talk. I'm not even taking a mick with it. It's like, like, it was like Edu in a press conference <laughs> or an interview. Not easy talking in front of a camera, is it, James? Easy to sit on Twitter instead, isn't it, mate? Chatting absolute bollocks. But anyway, let's see what he's got to say. Let's see what the fella's saying. Let's carry on. Where are we? There we are. That's the screen. Let's go. Well, to summarise, I thought the defence was very solid for the most part. I thought um, during the later stages of the game, the midfield switched off a bit. And I was very impressed with the... It's all going all right at the minute, isn't it? The defence... Um, Another big goal. In the 90th minute. And... Um, I was really, really impressed with how we progressed the ball from the defence. So for what we know, now know is our strongest defence on paper, I, I thought it was a really impressive performance. Really impressive? Um, this is boring me, by I the way. we had a very aggressive start. Aggressive? Uh, for the first 10 minutes, we played exactly how I expected us to play under our tether. Uh, very Guardiola-like. Oh. Um, <laughs> Did he just say that? <laughs> This is gold. I've genuinely not watched this video either. Did he just say very Guardiola-like? Is this for real? 
Are these people actual real human beings? Come on. Pepe had to, has this season to prove himself or goodbye. DVS is not having him. Big up DVS. Is this a real person? Big up to uh, Jamie Lee as well, man. Come on, my guy, man. Thank you. I will come back to some comments in a minute. Did he just say Guardiola-like? Did I hear that? Should we skip it back a little bit? What is this doing, man? Why is my Mac playing up? Let's go. Um, for the first 10 minutes, we played exactly how I expect us to play under Arteta. Uh, very Guardiola-like. <laughs> um, but 10 minutes, 10 minutes obviously isn't enough. But the way Norwich couldn't get the ball and we were pressing them really high in that because they're a championship team, James. And they were stuck deep. And every time they were trying to play out from the back, they ended up going along and we'd retain possession. But again, we didn't make the most of that. A good team or a great team even scores within that first 10 minutes and kills the game. Oh, interesting. So we were, we just felt like the chances would come. We're not, we weren't clinical enough and not decisive enough in the mm. final third. Um, I thought... Oh, check the notes, mate. Go on. Um, and we, we've still got some more players to come into that. I think in our strongest 11... Oh, here we go. Smith Rowe would come in for Pepe, in my opinion. Did I just see... Did I just hear what he just said? I thought... Even um, he didn't... He had to write it down. We've still got some more players to come into that. I think in our strongest... 11 smith row would come in for pepe in my opinion i've said that before and i still agree with it hold on hold on hold on hold on a minute let's just rewind here a second you're gonna put a 20 year old kid who doesn't score any fucking goals in the team over a player who scores and creates we're done with james you are a muppet goodbye i don't want to hear anymore goodbye what is the matter with these people? Like, do, do I see something different? You're going to put a player in who doesn't score a goal over a player who was our top goal contributor last season. Make it make sense, James. Muppets. Anyway, let's continue. Let's get back to sharing Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> this is hilarious. Like, Jesus Christ. This is, this is actually hilarious. Um, we was on his Twitter page, weren't we? Let's, let's see... Um, Let's see uh, what the comments were saying. So, should we have a look at the comments on that? Let's have a look at the comments on it. Pretty much agree with everything, especially the point about Xhaka. I really like Sambi and think he's done, excuse me, really well in his appearances so far. But given his age, Project Youth, by the way, um, and the fact he's moving from a lesser league, okay, it's going to be difficult for him to maintain these before. And I think Xhaka, despite his flaws and the red card against City, is still the better player. Did he agree? Did he actually go on to say Xhaka over Sambi? I'm glad I switched that off because I would have got angry. Wow. His fans are happy with him. Go on, James. Go on, my son. Maybe you should start a channel where you can sit and go all the way through your videos, my friend. <laughs> Not easy talking into a camera, is it? Like I said before, it's a lot, lot easier. A lot, lot easier just sitting on Twitter chatting absolute bollocks but there we go next one let's go where is he there he is gonna blog um not necessarily so much for his tweets although he does chat shit um more for what he retweets or what he writes at the athletic kind of crazy some of the crap that we um we see here where's the one i wanted to find there it is there it is Infectious Ramsdale. <laughs> Smith Rose Riziki comparisons. <laughs> Do these people seriously believe this crap? Like real talk. I, I I'm I'm baffed. Who's comparing Smith Rowe to Riziki, by the way? Is that actually a thing? Is this actually a thing? We're gonna now compare Smith Rowe to Riziki. The, the funny thing is, I really shouldn't eat on stream, by the way. The funny thing is, going back to James a minute ago, the comment, so he'd obviously mentioned Sank about Xhaka and Samba Lekonga not starting over Xhaka because that obviously, the reply was obviously in response to that and the guy agreeing, right? And that was because of Lekonga's age. 
The same people want Smith Rowe in the team over Nicola Pepe. Last time I checked, mate, Smith Rowe's just turned 20. Like, seriously, Muppets. Anyway, let's continue with this crap. Uh, let's go. So, Smith Rowe's Riziki comparisons. Dispelling stadium myths. Yes, go on, go on, you tell them, Gunner Blog. <laughs> Listen now. No, I'd rather not, mate, if I'm honest. Uh, here we go. What's Amy Lawrence said here? He was almost a cult figure within his... Oh, fucking turn it in, love. He was almost a cult figure within his first home game. The mutual affection was joyous. Can these people start getting people that actually know what they're talking about to write this shit? No, like, come on. Do you have a look at the free comments? Didn't get much traction on that, to be fair, considering he's got about 400,000 followers. Enjoyed this week's show, folks. On Koscielny, really good defender, but did have... <laughs> seriously, a penchant. A penchant. Oh, these people fucking turn it in. Yeah? For cas catastrophic moments, rash swipes. <laughs> Swipe out of here, you muppet. Like, come on. What is going on here? What is the matter with these people? Oh, yes, he had a penchant, you know. Fucking, this, these are the type of people that follow Arsenal, mate. Like, oh, excuse me, could you sit down? No, Tabitha can't see. Yeah, we're trying to drink our fucking chai lattes and eat our soy bagels and our grapes. <laughs> Muppets. Let's see what else he's put out this way. Oh, there he is. There he is with his dog. Go on, son. Go on, mate. What else he put out here? One that went over Norris. A fresh-looking Arsenal team. <laughs> Did we actually look fresh? Does, any, does anyone believe this? I've seen a lot of people. I, I, I don't think I'm going to have time to come to it, but I've seen a lot of people now making out that Leno's shit when they spent the whole last 12, 13, 14 months telling us he's better than fucking Emmy Martinez. Idiots. Uh, Arteta has spoken publicly and privately of his desire to see Arsenal evolve into a 4-3-3. Party and Smith Rowe could unlock that possibility. <laughs> In the final hour against Norwich, we did see a glimpse of that shape. Of the, is, is this the, sorry, did we see a glimpse of the shape of this team's future? How about just fucking win football matches convincingly, mate? I couldn't care less if we've got 10 up front or 15 at the back, five in goal. This is like nearly two years into this guy's reign. And this crap still gets put out by these people. Yeah, this guy is blue ticked up, you know. Oh, look, PS and Spurs lost. Oh, yes, let's all laugh at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, shit. You're still six ahead, isn't you? Oh, fucking hell. Maybe in a couple of games time, mate. Yeah. Idiots. How many followers has this guy got, by the way? Let's have a little look here. Let's have a little look. Oh, only the 272,300. Unbelievable, Jeff. The scenes. People lap this shit up, by the way. They literally lap this crap up for fun. Uh, who should we go to next? Uh, who's next? Let's have a little look. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, ah, here he is. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Uh, where's the tweet I wanted to see? Oh, actually, I think I retweeted it. I deliberately retweeted it for this show. There it is. No, I, I can't. I would love to be able to do that, guys. Tweets, but I'm blocked. Um, so there we go. Where else should we go? Uh, this guy as well. I'm blocked from him, sadly. Ugh, not slept since then. Ah, uh, here it is. Right. So let's go. Ah, Timmons. Yes, I've blocked Timmons. Right. So Timmons. We've already roasted him before. Obviously, he hasn't got a girlfriend. Doesn't have anything going on in his life apart from his Twitter account. Kind of sad, really. Seeing as the media won't be in, in a hurry to point it out, it's worth noting. Hold on. Let me get a pen. I'm noting it, mate. Yep. It's worth noting that Ben White has made three key passes against Norwich. Okay. For context, David Louise completed two. I'm noting this down, by the way. Uh, two over the entirety of 2021 season. Okay. Can he defend? No. How many duels did he win airily? One out of three. How many did he win on the floor? One out of four. So he won two out of seven. What the fuck is that? 
But then it gets better. It gets miles better. Because Wheatley, fresh off of the back of Fabrizio sticking him in a box, started crying. Because Football London had tweeted it out. <laughs> And Chris Wheatley seems to think he knows everything. Funny that, mate. You nicked it off a sofa score, you bellend. You muppet. What's the matter with these people? Let's have a look at the comments. Oh, Timmons replied. There has quite literally been one article mentioning this. And this is from an Arsenal-related page. In contrast, we are being bombarded with five-minute long sports, Sky Sports segments about his aerial ability after the Brentford game. What's that got to do with him saying that you've nicked his article, mate? I swear. You can tell he's an absolute muppet. He's still got fucking Mesut Ozil as his picture. Mad. Oh, look at this one. The guy literally replied with uh, what our, uh, an Arsenal fan page posted uh, to pretend like it's some mainstream English media. Well, well, it kind of is because it is Football London and they are fucking the scourge of Arsenal. Um, the only... Oh, he, this guy knows. Oh, maybe... Yeah, maybe he knows a little bit about football, this fella. The only <laughs> attributed stat that matters is a clean sheet. Yes! He then went and ruined it. Without White and Gabriel, we would have found a way not to win the game. You kind of ruined your own tweet there, my friend. Mm -mm -mm. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's go. Yeah, look, there you go. How about you give Sofa Score credit? Exactly. It was Sofa Score. Yeah, they nick they nick half of their stats from somewhere else and then palm them off as their own because they're a bigger organization. Excuse me. This is the same guy that got put in a box. There you go, by Fabrizio. Yeah, crying. And that, that was funny as well because he was on one of the editions before Wheatley. It kind of makes it every week because he chats shit. Yeah, but it was kind of funny because he actually cried over Fabrizio putting out something about Granite Xhaka and Roma. And then fast forward, it never happened. So you cried over something that never happened. <laughs> exactly. But, it's, but, 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 but it's still my story. Still my story. I've already done that guy, man. You missed him. It was right at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> right, let's get on to Football London, seeing as we're on them. Uh, let's get on to them. Where are they? I think that's everyone I wanted to do, uh, I think. Let me have a look. Hang on. I think. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I've got, I've got a couple more, actually. Right, I've got a couple more. So let's go to my media. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta love it, innit? You have to actually love it. Love it. Uh, where is it? Ah, yes, this guy on Instagram. He's an Odegaard fan account <laughs> called Scodegaard. Yes, 14 year old. Well done, mate. Get out your mum's bedroom. So he shared my fan cam on my channel, obviously. Make sure you avoid this idiot with a thumbs up. The very next word, he has spelt completely fucking wrong. Yeah? Docents. You mean dozens. Is that what you meant, mate? Now who's the idiot? Docents watch football isn't a Arsenal fan. You also missed the N off of the A before Arsenal, mate. Now who's the idiot? Lee Gunner, you are a clown. Yeah, well, Skodegaard, you're a fucking muppet. Bye-bye. <laughs> literally these people are hilarious uh let's go with this one as well same night by the way same night uh yes here it is i think he um oh yeah he uh he deleted his tweet didn't he ah oh, there we go there it is so this guy afc missed <laughs> well you won't be fucking missed mate that's for sure cheers Lee really needs to D1E, NGL. <laughs> Not going to lie, baby. Uh, okay, mate, so I need to die, apparently, yeah? Cool. Why did you block me, mate? Raf, 
Rafi Freeman, why did you block me? Oh, I'll tell you why you blocked me. Because I absolutely fucking roasted you, mate. That's why. Get out of your Mars box room, you muppet. Imagine having the audacity to sit there in your Mars box room wearing fucking anime hoodies. Yeah. Giving it, you have to, you, uh, I, I want to, he needs to die. He needs, telling adults to die, you absolute muppet. Uh, let's go to Arsenal next. I need to hurry this up. I'm going to be on Never a Foul channel in a minute. Um, so apologies. Uh, I do want to carry on, but unfortunately I've committed to that. So come and join me and Holly. The link is pinned to the top of the comments. Let me quickly go through Arsenal. Where is it? Um, Arsenal. As you can see, I don't follow these Muppets either. Right, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to have to scroll down quite a bit here. Ah, here we go. Welcome to the... F oh, they changed it. They must watch the channel or watch my tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the family, Takahiro. Not Tommy anymore then, no? Oh, okay. No worries. Well, we'll find you ones that say Tommy. It's no drama. Um, let's find them. <laughs> <laughs> why did they change it? Oh, I wonder why. Idiots. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh, look, they changed it there as well. Same day. Mm. And if people don't think that they watch this, you're off your heads. They watch everything. They watch absolutely everything. <laughs> I really want to find it for all the people that ain't seen it. Here we go. <laughs> oh dear making friends already tommy <laughs> you know he ain't four years old right let's find the other one they put out it was another one where is it oh look time for tommy <laughs> time for there's another one as well i'm gonna find it maybe they deleted it there was another one, I swear. It said, I'm going to find it. I am going to find it. I need to hurry up and find it, but I'm going to find it. Mm, maybe they deleted it. Yeah, they must have deleted it. Did they delete it? Yeah, they must have. They must have deleted it. It said, looking good, Tommy. Then they put, making friends already, Tommy. <laughs> well done, Tommy. You can have a sleepover and invite a girl round because you had a good game, Tommy. But you must be in bed by 7.30. <laughs> Why are they treating him like a fucking kid? Like, what's that all about? But there we go. That is the latest edition of Arsenal Muppet Twitter. As much as I'd love to continue, unfortunately, I can't. Um, so, yeah, mad scenes. But they obviously... Uh, Obviously didn't like me taking the mick out of them, hence why they've changed it from Tommy to Takahiro. Um, there we go. Listen, big up to everyone. I'd love to be able to read all your comments out and pin as many as I can and all of that shit. But unfortunately, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I've got to go on this channel in three minutes. So, well, it's not unfortunately. Come and join in. It's going to be interesting. It's not a football related stream. Um, Holly, I've known for years anyway, from little days. So come and join him. Uh, my mum's got that anime hoodie. Imagine sitting there, right, in your bedroom at your mum's house. Yeah, knocking one out to cartoon characters and having the audacity to tell people to die. Now, that is modern day society. That is modern day social media. Everyone's a gangster. Everyone runs their fucking mouth. And uh, as soon as you give it back, they all hide. Um, there was a load more that I could have done. There was another Muppet in fucking Denmark who ran his mouth. Uh, he, was, he was actually hilarious. Yeah, he was making out... Oh. I don't know what side of the fence you sit on. Yes, I start, I arranged the first ever Cronky Out. Yeah, first ever, by the way. First ever Cronky Out protest. Really? Wow. That's funny, because I was on a Cronky Out protest about seven years ago, mate. I didn't see you there. The very next tweet he put out. Um, all you do is do it for the likes and the money. That's all you're after. Well, I don't need to. I don't need to talk about football to earn my money, and I'm only twenty. So I was like, "So you sat in Denmark at thirteen years old, organising a Conky Out protest? You fucking muppet! Instant block after that. By the way, they're all muppets. They all love to chat big online, man. They're fucking divs. But there we go. 
we'll continue this again next week after the Burnley game. Um, but thank you very much to everyone. <laughs> listen, I'd love to be able to sit here and pin all your comments now. But listen, the pinned comment, um, make sure you click on that right now. Go into the chat and just spam it with rat emojis. Even though it's not a football stream, we're going to be talking about social media, funny enough, uh, and what the differences are now growing up to when I grew up without it. So, yeah, uh, go and check that out. I'm out of here. Love to all of you. And uh, we'll be back again with the next Muppet show next week. Laters. I'll take her out. Muppets out. <laughs>